All right, very well. Uh, in the last three, four projects, what we have seen is a time series analysis, a binary kind of analysis where there are two values. Let's also do another example where we can have multiple set of values, which is called as a multi-class analysis. So let's click on a new project. I would name it uh, BBC News analysis okay and then i can give my name as the name of the analysis as a1 you can okay sorry i clicked over here but probably even is good enough if you want you can give it a descriptive name click on next i need to choose the data set and the data set is bbc news training data set which is a part of the complete data set which i have split it um, as a train and test and that's the right approach awesome our training set is good i would then click on next okay so what do we have in this data set is some articles from bbc news and then there are certain categories around it which is uh, you know article is a kind of a business category or a tech or a sport or an entertainment so these are the multiple classes so based on the text of the uh, article we want to predict automatically which category it belongs to okay so uh, this is good we just want to pick up a target uh, column which is the category now so we are good in that as well and this is a multi-class problem as you can see so we have our algorithms we will let click auto ML decide which one is the best uh, we have our pre-processing. We do not want any manual pre-processing. So I would go ahead and click on analyze. Great. So our analysis one of the BBC News analysis project is running. And then we have certain fit. You might not get all the different charts. Uh, you know, see feature importance cannot be generated much because Obviously, there are only two columns. Correlations cannot be generated because there are only two columns. So, uh, basis on the data set, click Auto ML will give you the cards and would give you, uh, you know, good charts according to it. So, we have the fit. Awesome. Now, I will choose my test data set and generate predictions on it. I have the test over here. I would open it. Awesome. And then I will click on predict. So what this will give me is a prediction. That this is my predicted outcome for sports. Uh, basis on the articles is this one. So what I might have to do is download the predictions. Okay. Still downloading, I believe. Okay. All right. And also one important thing is the algorithm chosen is a uh, random forest classifier. The F1 score is not good. I must say 0 0.21, which is which is quite common in case of multi-class, uh, right? And then I would uh, go ahead and look at the predict category. So this is the category which is predicted this is on this text so you see that all the columns are filled and uh, we have it ready but it also gives you the prediction percentage so if i am predicting sport uh, my percentage is like 26 percentage i would say it's sport uh, but x was 14 percent category was 16 uh, sorry, the, the entertainment was six, uh, 25, the business was uh, 17, but I think this one goes well with sport and uh, looks like uh, yes or no, we cannot say. But this is just a multi-class classification. For example, we discussed about the iris flower classification. We can discuss, we can predict the species of the iris flower. We have a penguin database. Uh, which on basis on the different features of the penguin we can find out uh, what are the species of the penguin so we can do those multi-class problems but usually in such multi-class problems the 
the probability of outcome is not 100% accurate. Depending upon the, the score that you get, you can see that yes, my model has worked well or not. All right, so uh, well, yeah, this is this is good. This is good. What we have done is created so many projects. Uh, well, over here in the project space, you can see all the projects that we have done. You can choose to view it as a list that tells you the owner, the different analysis, how many data sets are included. You can choose to delete them from here or rename them from here as well. And if you want to look at the data sets, you can as well go from here, look at the connections. If you have a paid version and look at the uploaded files right from here and choose to delete them from here as well right i think we have covered enough we have made a lot of projects we have made a lot of progress we have learned how to do uh machine learning from click auto ml and did we write any line of code absolutely not we have not written any line of code and we are just using the graphical interface we are uh, just using the inbuilt capabilities of click auto ml and as we saw as we saw in the uh, breast cancer diagnostic project that our analysis were so accurate all right let's continue our learning as well in the upcoming videos thank you